our K2A project in Zivamchen, we designed a card game for children, um, which they can play in school. And the aim of the project is to um, teach children about the water issues in their surroundings. So we looked at Lake Wamchen and the problems around the lake and uh, we created a card game which conveys to children the complexity of the sustainability issues around the lake. The topics of the game are littering, stormwater runoff, um, individual sewage systems, agriculture, pesticide use in private gardens, car wash and geese poop. The project Fins et Vomco really tackled the water quality issues of Vomcor and we really managed to find seven issues we found important and after because of those on those issues we developed a, a card game with seven families attacking all seven issues and the idea behind it was that we could use an educational tool that students could play with both in class and at home and it was important for us to develop something that would have a long lasting impact Instead of just having one class where you hear the information, it's something you can play with or a tool we developed that you can use over a long period of time and between different generations. So you can play with your younger siblings, you can play with your grandparents, you can play it at school, you can play it with your parents. So it's an intergenerational tool, but it's also an educational tool at the same time. Throughout uh, our K2A project, I think we learned a lot about communication. We also learned a lot about interacting with different actors and having interviews and learning from others what really the issue is and what really can be done from, the stu from our student perspective, what we can do for those actors who are involved in um, cleaning the lake and the water quality in the lake. At the end, we also learned a lot of skills on how to develop a solution, how to think about the design. We produced a game, so a lot went into like what do children respond to, something maybe colorful. Um, how do we make this issue interesting to, um, to a group of children? How can this ultimately help the water quality of the lake?